YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a swap, actually. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I am a member of the Google Plus group Geeks and Beauties. It's run by Zany Laney, whom I will link down below. And her and I were paired up as support buddies for the past two months. And we decided for our collab that we would do a little springtime swap. So we set a limit of, I think it was $25, and I think we both went over it a little bit. So let's see what she got for me, shall we? Now I did open the package because me struggling to open a package on camera is tray sad. So she sent me our springtime postcard swap in this as well because we all are doing like a springtime, like all of us are sending cards to each other. And she also sent me a letter. Jessica, top five things that make me think of spring. And she included some extra goodies as well and I'm just gonna go over them all with you. First off, she sent me the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the waterproof version. And I have used this before and I really like it, so I do not mind having a backup. She used, she said in her card, I use this, this stuff is amazing. I use it every night and it is really good. This is one that you have to shake up because it's made for waterproof. But you just shake it up and mix it together and put it on a cotton pad and swipe it all over and take off your makeup. Next, we have the Maybelline Master Fix, something else that I actually do have, but is a great product and I still do not mind having it back up. She says this reminds her of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and it really is comparable. So I totally agree with that statement. This is great stuff. So like I said, really don't mind having a backup. Next, she got me a Pacifica perfume in Tuscan Blood Orange. She says it's her favorite scent and I have to agree, this is an amazing scent. I have smelled this in the body butter at the Target before. Guys, I love citrusy scents and this is right on the money of orange and awesomeness. Let's see, does it say any extra notes or anything? Sparkling orange, spicy Italian mandarin, and red raspberry notes. 100% vegan and cruelty free, as everybody knows about Pacifica. Let's see. She also sent me an EOS polish in the limited edition porcelain matte version. She's gone matte. And she says mint equals spring, which I definitely have to agree with. Please excuse my hands and nails. I just redid my hair and everything is stained blue because when I have washed it out of my hair, it stained my hands because I never think to put on gloves when I wash it out of my hair. And the last thing that she specifically listed was this EOS hand lotion, which I've used their lip balms before, but I've never used their hand lotion. And she just says berries, mmm, which yes, berries are awesome. Let's give this a sniff real quick. Because it's actually like you could open it on the bottom and see what it smells like. Ooh, that does smell good. Berry Blossom is the name of the scent. And like I said, she did include a few extra goodies in here that I will also show. She also sent me a, a, a soft lips cube and pomegranate blueberry. I have used one of these up before and they are really awesome. So I am happy to have that. She sent me a little rhinestone pocket mirror with a heart on it. She sent me a hard candy Cal Eye Scope Baked Eyeshadow Duo, a slight kaleidoscope, it's a play on that, and 261 Make Believe. And it's just these two pretty blues right here. Let me get a swatch for you. And hopefully my own blueness will not interfere too much with it. That is really pretty. And I bet if you use them wet, the, the lighter one will really pop too. And finally, I was so tickled when I saw these guys. She made some paper clips for me. Like, and let me show them to you. Look! It is, I'm not, I think that's either Spider-Man or Dead, I think it's actually Deadpool now that I'm really looking at it. There's a Batman one and there's a Loki one. I love Loki, he's my favorite. You, know, you guys know that. It's really hard, it's actually more hard to tell who that is now that I'm really looking at it. At first I was like, oh, it's Spider-Man. And I was like, oh, well, it could totally be Deadpool now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. I'm sure she'll comment down below and let you know. So that is it. I had a, I loved everything that she sent me. You guys, she's got a great channel. 
She does both makeup reviews and she does a lot of kind of geeky type reviews too. So if you like me, you'll definitely like her. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you later. Bye!